Hey guys, it's Shadow, and today I want to talk about whether or not Westbound Game Passes are worth it. This may have some controversy, and I mean no hate to the devs, and don't take this negatively. There's a lot of Game Passes, obviously. There's a wide range of them. You can choose to your delight, I guess. What I want to talk about is that they're, they're, they're all basically cosmetic, and the fact that they cost this much is just ridiculous, and I just, I don't think it's a nice thing to do. To be fair, the game is free. There's a lot of mobile players, there's a lot of kids playing, and this is probably how they make their money. But do you really have to charge 800 Robux for a bunch of cosmetics? Like, that's just, it's not cool, man. And these three game passes are okay. These are fine. 350 is a little bit, it's, it's kind of getting there, but, you know, it's okay. The Skeleton Horse is just, it's still too much. I think it should be like 200 Robux. And then everything past here is just way too expensive. VIP should, in all games, VIP is really expensive and it's it's ridiculous, but um, I mean, to be fair, most games charge way more than that, but still. I mean, Coyote Coins are fine, I guess. They're also just for cosmetics, but you know, you literally just pay for your outfits in here. But yeah, there's just, they're, they're not that good of value. The They do come with guns and stuff, but are they really worth like five bucks? You know, like, is it really worth that much? On a, on a Roblox game, and I mean, I can show you guys. Well, the, I have all the game passes, obviously. Like, there's this gun, the dark stuff from the Watcher game pass, and it's just, I, it doesn't feel the same as if you actually had the like, normal gun. The normal guns, they're 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 gu they're cool guns. You, you know, you save up for them, and you know, like this looks so good. But the fact that you can just pay for, I mean, like the mo that looks super sick super good amazing like i just feel like it's kind of cheating you know like people worked hard for these and for people like me i mean I, i'm just i just buy the game passes to show you guys what's in them to for people to just be able to buy the stuff just feels kind of cheating and i don't like that i think that kind of is negative to the experience and like you know one friend could have a lot of robux and another friend could have none and then they could, the one friend without any Robux would have to spend like hours trying to get money to get the same guns. And it's just not, I feel like that's kind of mean. And I'm sure they're not the greatest guns that come with them, but they're still guns and there's still money. There's still time spent. People don't have a lot of time, you know? But yeah, I, this is a short video, but you know, I just wanted to talk about this. I don't like that they charge so much for these game passes. And I don't like that they're just cosmetic. I really wish they had like actual game passes. I don't like comparing the Wild West and Westbound, but you know, I like that the Wild West has like the mayor. You know, that's a re that's the best game pass ever. No, actually, Hitman's better. But there's the Hitman. Like, it's such a good game pass. You're actually paying for something. You're paying for a fun experience to do. And you're also getting money back for it. If I were an average player, I would never even consider buying any of these. I only bought them to show you guys. And because I have a lot of Robux and because I, that's why I have a lot of Robux so I can make videos like this. As I do my classic Roblox stance, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy and found this formative, constructive criticism, I guess, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.